The top edge of the gathered pocket is finished with piping. To make your piping, you will need a two inch wide piece of bias, nine inches long, and a piece of cable or piping cord, nine inches long. Place the bias wrong side up on the table. Place the piping cord in the center of the bias. Fold in half and pin the bias around the cord as snugly as possible. Next, you need to stitch alongside the piping cord to hold it in place. In order to get close to the piping cord, we need to change the foot on the machine. To change the presser foot, raise the presser foot, lift the latch holding the foot on, and pull straight down. The foot should come right off. Replace the foot with the number four zipper foot. Place the nub on the machine into the hole on the top of the foot and push the lever back in place. The zipper foot has no hole in the center. It is important to move the needle position to the right or left before you begin sewing. Here I have moved the position all the way to the right. The stitch width should still be at zero and the stitch length should be set to four. Place the fabric under the presser foot with the cable cord side on the same side as the needle. Put the presser foot down as close to the cable cord as possible. Hold the threads and begin sewing. Keeping the needle as close to the cable cord as possible without actually stitching into the cord itself. I find it is helpful to pull the piping gently to the right as I sew. The corner of the presser foot pushes the cord against the fabric so that the stitching is as close as possible. This helps create smooth and tight piping. Continue stitching until you reach the edge of the fabric. You do not need to backstitch. When you reach the edge, make sure the needle is in the upright position, lift the presser foot, and pull your work out. Make sure to clip your threads at the beginning and end. The piping is ready to be placed onto the gathered pocket. Find the outer gathered pocket piece. Double check that the gathered section measures two inches and that the gathers are evenly spaced. Place the gathered pocket piece right side up on the table. Place the piping along the top edge of the pocket. The piping should face into the pocket. The seam allowance of the piping should be on top of the seam allowance of the pocket. Match the seam line of the pocket piece with the line of the stitching on the piping. Pin this in place. Be careful when placing the pins over the gathers. Be sure that the gathers remain vertical and do not tuck horizontally across the seam line. With the same zipper foot and stitch length of four, place the fabric underneath the presser foot. Line up the needle with the same line of stitching used to make the piping. Stitch along this line from one edge to the other. You do not need to backstitch. The line of stitching should match up with the drawn stitch line on the gathered pocket piece. The inner gathered pocket piece should be placed with the right sides together on top of the gathered pocket piece. The piping should be sandwiched between the two pieces and the stitch line should be visible on both sides. Line up the stitch lines across the top and pin in place. Check that the notches and side stitch lines match up as well.
Keep the needle position and stitch with the same, but adjust the stitch length to three. Place the fabric underneath the presser foot, lining up the needle with the stitch line. Hold the beginning threads, stitch two or three stitches, and then back stitch two or three stitches. Continue stitching along the line. Because the gathers are in the top layer of fabric, the presser foot sometimes pushes the gathers forward, bunching them up. To help control this, you can use the point of the pin to hold the gathers in place as they go underneath the presser foot. Be sure to watch that your fingers do not come anywhere near the needle. Sew to the edge of the fabric, back stitch. Be sure your needle is in the upright position. Lift the presser foot and remove your work. Trim the threads at the beginning and end. Open the two layers of fabric and fold them back over the other way. The piping should now be running along the top edge of the outside and both pocket pieces should be right side out. There should be no lines of stitching visible on the piping from the right side. Pin the two layers together using the thread tracing to match up the layers. Be sure to match the corners. Remove the number four zipper foot and replace it with the number one presser foot. Set the stitch width to zero, the needle position back to center, and the stitch length to four. Carefully stitch along the thread traced line, turning at each corner. You are simply basting the two layers together to hold them in place. You do not need to back stitch at the beginning or end. The inner and outer layers should now be held together. Carefully surge along the sides and bottom of the pocket, removing just enough to get a nice clean edge. Surge from one edge to the other. Do not turn the corners. Take the pocket to the iron and gently press up the sides and bottom of the pocket along the stitch line. This completes the gathered pocket. You should now have completed stitching all your pockets and are ready to move on to straps.